One of the nice things by Yellowstone are these many turnouts uh, along the road. Uh, and uh, they each have kind of a really spectacular view. I like this one here, which I really like. Uh, sorry about the harsh sunlight, because uh, the pretty much sun's pretty much right overhead, but uh, yeah, it looks great. Uh, I'm trying to avoid stopping at too many of these, because uh, it just eats up time, and I want to hit the, the really big sites. So, um, uh, but sometimes you just can't resist. Uh, just as I was saying before, about not stopping at too many of these turnouts, I had to stop here. I saw this one uh, yesterday, and I uh, uh, thought it would make a pretty good Instagram reel, so I had to stop here. I'm also gonna take a photo here, uh, of kind of this scene here. Um, what I like about this scene is, uh, I like the shadows from the trees on the right. I also like the, uh, the highlights and the shadows that the sun is creating on the, uh, on the river there. Now then, uh, the clouds are a bonus. So hopefully I'll be able like, to take a nice shot here. I stopped here to get a photo of this mountain peak here and this tree line here. Uh, I love the clouds um, in the sky, uh, but I am zoomed in all the way. So we kind of get this framing here of the peak, like this, like this here. Uh, so now I'm just gonna hang out. What I want to see is get some. Uh, shadows from the clouds to kind of come along over here and uh, give it uh, a little bit more contrast there and be hopefully a, a more interesting shot. So all I gotta do is just sit here and wait. Well we are about three miles from the Mammoth Hot Springs area. Uh, this is the first real traffic I've actually hit. Um, we're kind of snaking through this ridge along a canyon and we've been doing this for uh, like 20 minutes now just crawling. Um, I had my uh, camera with my long lens on me so I took some shots of the traffic. Uh, so I uh, hope you enjoy those. Um, I guess the best I can do is just uh, sit here and just crawl along. Yeah, I don't know what the issue is. I don't know if it's always like this or if someone had an accident or, or what. Or who knows, maybe there's a an animal out there or something blocking the road. You know, you see those shots from the Yellowstone all the time. Okay, well I figured out what was stopping traffic. It's a little dubious in my opinion. You can kind of see everybody stopping along that little fence line looking down this gorge here. So you can see the cars are backed up, but then if you go past it, it's completely uh, wide open coming towards in my direction. Right? And you can also see that the cars are backed up going the opposite direction, right? but then uh, it clears out once you get past that, uh, that little fence area. Right? Now, granted it is a nice view uh, but it's not traffic stopping in my opinion uh, but then again you know I guess it all depends on what you've seen before and uh, yeah I can see how for some people maybe it's uh, uh, pretty damn awesome driving back to camp, I saw a bunch of people parked at a pullout and they were pointing their cameras kind of into the trees. So um, 
So then I looked and there was a bald eagle sitting on uh, one of the branches. So I grabbed my, uh, my big lens and uh, took a shot. And uh, here it is. That's it for my day two here at Yellowstone. But uh, look for a Milky Way video that I shot uh, on the same day, but the, later this evening. Uh, it's got a kind of interesting story to it.